Hey guys, this is Giridhar and I am back with a new review video. Today I am going to talk about the Swipe Lite Plus. There is a slight change in the video format and without further ado, let's dive into it. Let's talk about the specification first. The Swipe Lite Plus is a handy little device. It weighs less than 150 grams and it is very thin at just 8.9 mm. It has a 5 inch display with very thin bezels. The display is a full HD IPS capacitive display. It is protected by Dragon Trail Glass. The rear camera is a 13 megapixel and the front has an 8 megapixel selfie camera. It is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 615 octa-core processor clocked at 1.5 GHz. It has 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage. It features an expandable storage of up to 64 GB on the dedicated slot. It is a dual SIM device with OTG support. It supports LTE, GSM and even some CDA bands. Swipe Elite Plus runs on Android Lollipop with Freedom OS on top of it. It runs on a 3050mAh battery. The battery is non-removable though the back panel is removable. Now here is what I like about the Swipe Elite Plus. The Swipe Elite Plus has a very thin lightweight design. So it's got a 5 inch display and the device weighs just 131 grams and it is just 9mm thin. If that doesn't give you a perspective, Let's see how this device floats on water. Yeah, literally it floats on water. It is not waterproof or water resistant officially, but to an extent, the design seals the internal circuits from water. Again, there is no guarantee that it's a waterproof device, so I'm not responsible if you conk your device by putting water on it. The Swipe Lite Plus has a unique design with chrome rims and good quality plastic on the body. This is a welcome change from the previous iterations of Swipe Lite mobiles. The rear camera on the mobile is absolutely gorgeous. I have never seen such a camera performance in this price range. It matches the camera from some of the top mobiles out there. Depth of field is amazing. Color reproduction is perfect. The brightness and contract levels are right. HDR mode is slow but produces pleasing and natural results. The front facing camera is an 8 megapixel and it covers a wide angle. It's not a selfie but it's a group fee camera. The Freedom OS is fast and snappy. It offers a wide range of customization options. There are so many settings that I lose myself and my time just fiddling with the settings. It is a very interesting OS with its heart and soul on a better UX. The HD display is gorgeous. The text is crisp and the images are vivid. A full HD display on this price band is never heard of. Snapdragon 615 is a great performer. Be it games or apps, this processor and its GPU gives you a smooth ride. Call quality on the Elite Plus has improved manifolds compared to the earlier Elite series. Now the quality of incoming calls is natural and not at all tinny. GPS locks in under 10 seconds, Wi-Fi strength is good and network latching is good as well. The Swipe Elite Plus is priced at Rs 6,999. At a rupee less than 7,000 rupees, the device you are buying is a great value for money. Now. Having said all that, here is what I don't like about the Swipe Lite Plus. The device heats up. I understand that this is powered by a powerful 615 processor and it has a very thin profile. At such a thin profile, heat dissipation is a challenge, but still the heat on this device could have been minimized or even avoided with some better engineering design. Processor throttling is evident on gaming. Check out the gaming on Swipe Lite Plus. Frame drops and UI lag is not clearly evident, but the throttling has caused the game rendering engine to underperform. The game artifacts rendering is not so smooth. I'm not a big fan of gaming on this Swipe Lite Plus anyway. The speaker is weak and I miss a lot of calls because of the weak speakers and its ringtones. The vibration is too strong. Silent mode vibration defeats the purpose and the vibration is very disturbing, especially if you are in a quiet place like an office or even a temple. The full HD screen and a powerful processor drains the battery pretty fast. On intense usage, I get about 3 to 3.5 hours of screen on time. On an average, the battery lasts for 12 hours or even less. Also, it takes painfully long to charge the mobile. 
From 0 to 100 percentage, it takes about 3 and a half hours with a 1 amp charger that is bundled in the device. But these cons outweigh the pros, just because of the killer pricing. At Rs. 7000, the only competitor for the Swipe Lite Plus is the Coolpad Note Lite, which has an average looks and a MediaTek processor. But still, the Coolpad Note has a better performance and it's got a fingerprint sensor as well. I would recommend the Swipe Elite Plus if you are looking for an economic option and keen on aesthetics and the camera. It is a no frills and no thrills device with straightforward objective to give a good user experience at an economic value and with very little compromises. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you like the new review format. Do share your comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.